Hey guys, it's the 3rd of December and who is going to be busy? Of course it's going to be Mr Elf because he's making all our presents. So today we're going to start off by doing his ears. I haven't made ear pieces. Um, I'm just moulding latex and machine cotton pads all together to create the shape of the ear that I want. I could have bought ears but they never seem to fit my ears so I thought I'd make them. So remember to put some clean film behind so your hair doesn't get into the latex because you do not want that because your hair will not come off it, it will be pulled out. So just make sure you flatten everything down, mould it into the shape that you like and once you've done that just let it dry. So while we let it dry we're just doing the outline shape of the eyes and I'm just going to go in with my black aqua colour paint, activate it with water and then do the outline shape of the eyes. And I'm going in the same brush, I've just cleaned it off and I'm using the MAC acrylic paint High Def Cyan and I'm just going on the outline of the black and I've just finished doing a full coverage foundation base with my Temp2 concealer palette just to give a really thick coverage to it uh, using my um, Beauty Blender and I've gone back in to black out the mouth to make it look like I'm smiling with an open mouth and I'm just using the acrylic paint with the white from the uh, other palette we've used, the aqua colour, mixing them together to create the tongue and give it more of a 3D look. And back to the acrylic paint with the same brush, again cleaned off. If you make any mistakes, just use a wet cotton bud and go back over and just to smooth those edges in. Just creates a bit more 3D. And using my white again from my aqua colour palette from Pam, preciousaboutmakeup.com. And going back in with the water, just making it good consistency to be quite a pink look. And using the tip of a brush with that white paint, just do little small circular movements just to create little dots. So it's almost like the reflection on the iris itself. And going round the edge just to create a shadow with the brown from that palette. Again, any sort of mistakes, just take a cotton bud. And I'm going back in with the same palette again with the orange colour and I'm just outlining it with the darker brown just to create the eyebrows. And going back in with the grey just to create a little bit of a, uh, almost like a shadow underneath the eyes. You don't have to do this too much, just very light coverage. And using that brown again we're going to go back around the face and create that actual shape, the outline. So do it how your shape of your face fits. I mean I wanted to make mine quite sort of jewellery so I as you can see went round the edge of the jaw just to really emphasise that and I pointed it right up into the ear as well which you'll see will go with the concealer soon. Now a little bit of the orange with the water as well just starting to create the hair and go around the outside again just to make it look a little bit more 3D with the brown. But I can't see if you're right here next to me. Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? Do you get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you talk. And here we're going to use the actual Temp2 concealer we used on the face. And we're just going to go all over the ears now they're dry and just colour them in so it looks like the same skin colour. So then the ears will match the face. Thank you. Using the same colour down the neck just to create the same colour in so it looks like the skin of the neck. And we're going to go in with the red colour from that same aqua colour paint. And we're just going to fill in his little top bit of his shirt. And we're going to go in and mix the greens, the darker one and the white, just because I wanted a bit of a lighter ivy green this time. And fill that all in and create a little bit of definition with the black just around it, just to create a little bit again, more of a 3D shape. Gonna fill in the edges with the black just so we can create the whole edge shape to make my neck look like it's skinny and blend in with the background. Finishing off the white on the eyes to give the illusion that the eyes are open. And a little bit of that same red with the beauty blender just pressed on those. I wanted it a little bit stronger so I went a bit heavier just to give that little elfy red nose. And we're done guys! So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to check out what tomorrow is. It's all a surprise.